So if you want the best lawn possible, you need to take care of your soil underneath. How do you do that? Let's talk about it. All right, so how do you know what's in your soil and what you need to put down in terms of products like fertilizers and all that? The only way to do that is with the soil test. And so I highly recommend going out of winter into spring, you do a soil test, especially if you're just starting out, you wanna do this for the first few years. So you know what's in your soil, you know what you're putting down is working and how it's affecting the levels that your soil test gives you. There are a few different ways that you can do this. One is through a county extension office. Um, you know, find yours, talk to them, see if they can do a soil test for you. Mine cannot, the closest one to me is actually Purdue. <gasps> I talked to them, they gave me the details of what I needed to do to take a soil test, send it into them, um, and so it, really it just seemed like more of a hassle than anything because I have to get my own stuff, I have to get my own bags, I have to take my own sample like I would any other time, but you have to put it in your own bags, you have to go to the post office, you have to ship it, um, and then they will give you results about a week later, they said. The second option, there is a thing called Spectrum Analytic. I've never used that. Um, I actually was going to use that and I went online, was reading through the details and honestly, it just seemed a little too complicated. I'm sure some of you have used it and I, I've heard that the results are really good, but the process of getting the sample is not the most convenient. The next option is something like this right here, which is my soil. This is a soil sample test kit. Comes with everything you need in the mail. If you're familiar with Soil Savvy, it is exactly the same idea as Soil Savvy, but this company right here has upped their game a little bit to give you something even better. So this right here is their Pro Pack. Um, they have individual soil sample test kits, and then the Pro Pack right here comes with uh, a little bonus. All right, so if you order the Pro Pack, this right here is what you'll get. You will get two kits from my soil, and you will get this soil probe right here. So this thing is really cool, very well constructed. Um, this thing is not gonna break, and this is gonna come in handy. So the idea behind the Pro Pack is that you get this one time, and then from here on out, you can just buy one individual because you won't need this. So let's dive in, see what all comes in the box, and then let's see how we actually use it and collect our soil sample. Talk about what comes in the My Soil Test Kit. Okay, so first you have some documentation, and this is going to be your step by step instructions of how to collect your soil sample. Um, it also will tell you how to register your kit, and you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to check this out. This is something really cool that My Soil is doing, and we will go over this at the end of the video, but you're going to want to register your kit. The next thing that comes in this is a prepaid envelope, and this is what you're gonna put your soil sample in to send it back. This is already paid for, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. You don't need postage, you don't need anything like that. It's already taken care of. The next thing you get is this little cup right here. This is what you're going to put your final soil sample in. Once you collect all your cores, you're gonna put your mixture of soil in here, and we will get to that. It also comes with this container right here, this has a liquid in it. Do not open this until you are ready to put your final soil sample in here because you don't want to spill any of this. You do not want to dump out the contents of this. So hold on to this until you are ready. So let's open up this documentation and talk a little bit more about how to get a good soil sample. So you want to collect your soil from five to seven different spots within your lawn and you want to pull the cores about six inches deep. And so if you have a bigger lawn, you may need more than one test kit. I have 6,300 square feet, so I'm just going to use one test kit for my entire lawn. I'm going to go around, collect seven cores from different spots within my entire lawn. I will put them in a bucket, mix them up all together so the soil is all mixed together, and then you will take your little cup, and then you will get one level scoop and dump it in the container.
Once you have your soil sample done, put it in the prepaid envelope, drop it in your mailbox, put your little red flag up so your mailman knows to take it away and you are good to go. The next step is to wait for an email or check your dashboard. All right, so once you get your soil test in the mailbox, you're gonna give it a few days to a week and then you should have your test results back. And so I want to say, this is the my soil test kit there's a link down below um, this is really good if you use generic products such as i mean maybe milorganite or stuff you find from the big box store this is a really good product to use because it's going to give you recommendations on things to use in your yard generically and you can go out and you can find the things that match that analysis for the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium if you are somebody who uses carbon earth products like carbon x x green if you are somebody who uses the next product such as RGS, 1801 Green Punch, those things, if you are somebody who uses those products, this same exact kit has been rebranded, put on Yard Mastery, and it is going to actually give you recommendations for those products that are sold directly on Yard Mastery. So with that, I want to show you an example of the dashboard and everything that you can do with your soil results once you send in your test kit. Okay, so you're just gonna go to mysoiltesting.com. This is the home page that pops up, and all you're going to do is go up here to register your kit slash sign in. All right, so that is going to bring up this page right here, and then you're gonna go down here to new user, and you're gonna create an account, and all it's gonna ask you to do is put in your email address, create a password, make a display name. Obviously, my display name is going to be the Lawn Whisperer, duh. Once you're done registering your kit, you can go up here to the dashboard, and this right here is where your results will be posted. And so, just like this, it shows when I posted the sample, the type, what it was for, my entire lawn, my location, so this was at the Lawn Whisperer's house, so it's under the Lawn Whisperer, and here is the status of my kit. So right now it says registered because I just registered it. Once the results are posted, I can come back here and this will have my results right here and you can click on that and it will take you to your results page and so let's look at that here is an example of your results once you get your results back and you open your dashboard so as you see here it will have your test number it will have the date up here on the left the first thing you will see on here is the results from your actual sample and so it has the macronutrients listed as well as all the micronutrients and your pH and so you can look at this and you can get your own idea where it fits in this is the optimal range so for this example all of these three are low and so down below here it will give you recommendations for both organic as well as synthetic and it will tell you how much to apply per thousand square feet or if you are interested in doing more than a thousand square feet or less you can actually type the amount in here and it will give you the recommendation based on how much area you're covering up here on the top right, you will see two buttons. This one takes you to a link for an organic product that you can buy based on these results. This one takes you to a synthetic product based on these results. And so if you don't know what product to apply, you don't wanna go do your research, this is an awesome option. Click on one of these links and it will take you right to a product you can purchase and apply based off of these results. Down on the bottom right is the raw soil data and this is in parts per million and so it will give you everything from pH and nitrogen down to iron, everything in between. And so on the far right you will see the rating. Most of these are low and so it will tell you if you are in a low range, if you're in optimal range or even if you're in a high range and then you can go and you can purchase a product based on those results. So that feature right there, having your own dashboard, being able to upload your results to one spot where it will keep them over time, you can do a initial soil test, get your results, go out throughout the season and apply different products based on the recommendations, try to fix your soil, come back in the fall or maybe next spring, do another soil test, and you can actually compare those results. And so you can do that over time each year. You can go back and you can look at each one and see how your soil is changing and improving. And to me, that is really, really cool. I think that's what makes this test right here a game changer. And so I don't wanna hog all the fun. As you saw when I did the unboxing, there were actually four test kits that popped out. So two of these are actually mine. We just used this one. This one right here is for my project lawn. I will get to that at another time. But these two right here, are going to two of you. So in order to be entered to win one of these, one, you have to be subscribed to my channel. 
Um, the second thing is I want you to leave a comment down below and tell me what you're most excited for this season. Are you trying a new product? or maybe you have a project going on in your lawn, or maybe there's something else going on, but something that you're excited for to get done in your lawn. This I will be announcing the winner to this one week after this video is posted. If you do not win one of these and you just wanna go check them out or you just wanna go ahead and purchase one anyway, I will leave links down below to the My Soil version as well as the Yard Mastery version. Also, this right here, can be purchased separately from the kit, or you can actually purchase two kits with the soil probe. That is called the Pro Pack. It's essentially a one-time buy. Um, initially, you'd buy two. With this, you're gonna save some money as if you bought these separately. And then from then on, you could just buy these individually because you'll already have this and you won't need to purchase more. This soil probe right here is pretty much the perfect size. It will pull a six inch core. I measured, and also you can put it in and pull it out very easily. <laughs> It doesn't sound right. Oh, it pulls out. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below, or you can also in the description box below, find my email and my Instagram, and you can message me that way. I am going to do a separate video talking about my personal results and what I plan to do this season based on those results. Typically, I like to show the results in the same video because I don't like when people put something on a video, say this is how it should work, we're gonna put it on here and then they don't ever show it actually working. You just have to trust them that it works. So typically I would put them all in one video, but I wanted this video to not be 30 minutes long. And so I will show my results and plans in a separate video. Okay, we're gonna to move to the other side of the lawn. I'm looking in the eye. Look at your face.